Hey, look where I've arrived. Time to get fit. Hello, Ronnie. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Yourself? You're going to be my fitter today. A bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do here at Callaway? Talk to me. So just a cut and fit, uh, custom fitting technician here at Callaway. Great. Um, we're going to come in and fit a few clubs for you today. Perfect. Uh, you said that you wanted to have some irons. Yeah, so. irons is the main thing. So my bag at the moment, I need fresh wedges and I want to talk to you about my higher end of my set. So. Um, I think I need to go a bit more chunkier and get a bit more of a blend going in my set up towards the hybrids. Hybrids, these need replacing too because Maverick is now gone. We'll talk about forward, but I'm pretty happy with that. And this we fit. If you haven't seen the video, head over to Mark's channel as we fitted this driver for me. But I think I need a new shaft in it as it doesn't really match the gold. Before we get started, giveaway time. At Honiton in the studio, I've got a massive Maverick tour bag to give away. So if you want to be in with a chance of winning it, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I need you to comment down below what irons you think I'm going to end up with. So irons, I quite like my blady bottom half of my set, but chunky up the top. Can we yep. look at irons first? Yeah, of course. Like we've got a nice rack of irons up here. What are you going to recommend and where shall we start, do you think? So, um, so at the moment, obviously, you've got the MB iron. So we've got, obviously, like the bladed look. Yeah, that's um, my got current the feel, set. The feel of the blade. Then we obviously got the TCB going up one more. So that's obviously good. The pros are using on tour. You see, like, John Rahm, Schoffler. I'm Schoffler. pretty much like them. So well, it wouldn't surprise me if I'm Just got to get the, uh, <laughs> get the red, uh, red molded compound wax on them. Yeah, exactly. Of course. Uh, and then, obviously, we've got the Apex Pros. Yeah. A little bit more forgiving. And then we're moving into the Apex range. These are parallel tip heads so the, the shafts are obviously going to be slightly different to some of you getting the MB and a TCB. The lofts are a little bit different. The Apex DCB and the Apex, they're slightly stronger than you would say the TCB and the MB. Yeah. So we'll have to look at that also to match up. Okay so tinker around like the six and seven iron when yeah. I want because I'm thinking like pitching wedge to seven iron in something like this because I like the look and I don't struggle really hitting these kind of clubs but then when I'm trying to whack it early in the morning, cold on the first tee, I want a bit more help. So we might have to tinker with the lofts on these ones. And there's also this option up here, isn't there? There's a new Rogue ST irons. So yeah. they've got a pro looking blade. Is that something that we might be able to make? Yeah, so um, it's probably one of our most hottest irons at the moment. Yeah. Um, we've fit a lot of people for these at the moment. Um, yeah. The good thing is it's also a parallel tip head. Yeah. So you can pretty much fit any, any shaft in that one. Cool. I would say a lot of people are looking towards the like a, a five, four, five, six in the in the max. If we're going to go like a combo combination, yeah, and then towards the lower lower clubs in the in the pros. In the pros. Uh, obviously, a lot of people struggle with the longer irons. Yeah, like uh, like we're trying to achieve today. What have you put me in first, then, Ronnie? So. What we've gone for first is the, the new Rogue ST Pro. Rogue ST, it looks good. Like that does look blady, doesn't it? And pretty similar to what the MB is. Maybe a bit of a thicker top line, if anything. Looks strong, mm -hmm. a little off stronger. Yeah, they're, they're slightly stronger. Uh, so that it's about 30.5. Uh, loft on, on that 7-iron you've got in your hand. Compared to obviously what you've got in your current set, that's a considerable amount more. Is yours, your, your current set standard standard loft, isn't it? Is standard right? loft, yeah, for my current set. Lie, I think, is one degree flat, which I'm just happy with. Like I measure my clubs in reviews and stuff, and my irons are one degree flat, and that doesn't really need to change, so okay. I'm happy with that. How far is that going? So that's gone... 183.9 carry and 191.8 with a seven total. iron. That's quite a long way from my seven iron. Is that probably, a, that's like a six iron normally for me? I would say it's probably nearer to the to the loft of your six. Yeah, unfortunately, so, as well. Yeah, that's something it might be slightly too strong for you. Yeah, and um, that's something that I definitely have to think about when you change clubs, isn't it? Like I know it says seven on the bottom, but degrees and lofts. You've got how many different heads over there with all different lofts, haven't you? Of course, so yeah. If I go for something like this, I'm going to have to recalibrate and work out what my yardages are again and things like that. And if the Apex Pro is a similar look and stuff, but similar performance to my older set, then that's less work than I, <laughs> I have to do, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. So exactly there's a that. lot to weigh up when you're looking at newer clubs and things. And I think it's important when people do come for fitting like I'm just hitting normal shots at the moment, but when we do get to the clubs that I'm probably going to go for, I might just hit a couple where 
hit fade, hit draw, hit it low, hit so it high. Mixing the practice yeah. up, yeah, changing the target as well. Because how often do you stand on your range and just hit normal seven iron, seven iron, get on the course, balls below your feet, hundred percent, above your feet, yeah. winds off the left, off the right. So like, the lie's all, always changing at all times, isn't it? Absolutely, it's completely changing all the time. So when, if anyone down that lens, if you do go for a fit, once you have come to the conclusion of what irons and stuff you want, just have a little play with them. Do what you do on the course. Bit left, I reckon, that one. So any special tech in the um, Rogue ST Pro, Ronnie? So yeah, so compared to our old Maverick, sorry, uh, old Maverick, Maverick Pro, as some of you may, may know. It's obviously got some more tungsten towards the bottom of the club. That's going to um, help with things like MOI and stuff like that, Yeah, is it? so it's, it's more compact. It's a more compact head. Obviously allows more forgiveness as well as still having that bladed look. Uh, the MOI helps with strike, so if you hit it obviously off the toe, yeah. it's obviously going to help draw that back a bit slightly. Help with that off the speed. hill and vice versa. I'll hit one more and then we'll try the other Apex Pro, I think. Ronnie just changing the heads over here, literally just unscrewing, screwing back onto the shaft that I was using. So Ronnie's put the Apex Pro in there now and we've got a flat lie. Try and help me stop it going to the left a little bit. Like looks wise, it's pretty again, isn't it? Like if I put my seven iron down next to that, I would say that possibly there's a bit more offset in the yeah. um, heel, if anything, but like, it's pretty much identical to my MBs, to be honest, and that's kind of what I want. I don't really want to move away from my looks of my lower clubs or more lofted clubs. You can instant, instantly hear the sound difference between the two. Perhaps it's just me that likes it in it left. Shall I aim <laughs> up the right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the tech in this, much difference or not? The main difference is obviously <laughs> um, it's got that more bladed look. Yeah. Um, and also that this forged. Yeah. So it's a bit more of a premium metal. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. And obviously, with that possibly. premium metal, you get that premium feel yeah. that you're looking for. Right, I'll hit one more, Ronnie, and yep. then we'll have a look at the numbers and see what's going on, shall Sounds we? Sounds good. See if there's any difference. Oh, good one to finish. So numbers, Ronnie, what have we got? We've got the Apex Pro on the top here and Rogue Pro on the bottom. 2.5 degrees different in loft, remember, for people down the camera. Swinging exactly the same club head speed on yeah. average, 89.5 on both, which is all good. It's pretty good, isn't it? Full speed, you'd expect the Apex Pro to be a bit slower, which it is, 121.9 to 125.1. Yeah. The yardages in that case are a bit further with the Rogue ST. Pro, yeah. 177.7 to 169, and eight degrees with two degrees different lofts. Like that's what you expect, isn't it? Really? Yeah. The um, the main thing is that that ball speed, obviously, in the advertisement, obviously of the Rogue is, is the king of speed. Yeah. So what we're looking for is is obviously for you is more feel, mm -hmm. and obviously to match up similarly to your, to your eight iron and lower clubs in the bag. Yeah. So obviously when you produce enough speed as it is. But the main thing is obviously looking at the dynamic loft. As you can see, it's 21.3 degrees in, in the Rogue Pro, so that, that's slightly quite low. Yeah, so um, I, I'm delivering less loft as well as the um, loft being different anyway. So you'd expect me to deliver a little bit, and it's nearly two degrees as well, 22.7 on the Apex Pro to 21.3 with the ST. So then again, that's where you'll see the distance being different and also that spin a bit different look. So 6,500 on the Apex Pro and 5,800 on the Rogue Pro. Kind of numbers that you'd expect with the different lofts really. And with me wanting to not really change the performance against my MVs, I'd probably say that I'm digging more towards the Apex Pro as I don't want to learn different clubs and different yardages. <laughs> um, so I think if we can try and find something that heads me in that sort of direction so apex pro yeah. if we can try and line a bit of a chunkier club up with a six iron six so iron, get a yeah. nice blend now 
I think that's where I'd like to head towards. So, so obviously more more pro in the middle of the bag? Yeah, pro middle of the bag, up to yeah. like seven, six iron, and then a bit chunky, five, four Five, four, five. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So what are we going to go for? Apex, just standard? They, they look chunkier than me. Yeah, they, so we'll be, I'll be looking at the, the Apex standard. Uh, DCBs are obviously the deep cavity back, yeah. so obviously a lot thicker yeah. at the top line. Obviously, you said you like to look at the, like, the bladed look. Yeah. So we could obviously look at obviously the apex um you can get a mixed set where apex towards the high end of the club yeah and then apex pro towards the end obviously we've got to check to make sure the lofts are yeah we can tinker with lofts 100 it's, it's one the of the easiest and, things to change yeah, and make sure that that's all right but if we go apex to start with, yeah so that's what i'm going to try next is it actually i just had a thought um so we've also got the the forged utility over here very look like the tcbs with the the weight at the back yeah so we they also... are chunky actually as well <laughs> aren't they um they are very chunky so they're a lot more the finish looks more like the pro as well oh dangerous actually why not try this first actually <laughs> forget the apex yeah. a minute so the apex in Let's the bin said towards <laughs> these because that looks cool and those lofts are perfect to match i think pretty much with this set is it yes so close to it very very close if not one degree off okay so um, that can easily be tweaked let's give these a go ronnie Put them Sounds in good. my hand. So we're going to go with the X-Forged UT and try and match these into the set with the Apex Pros. And I think these look very nice and they're chunky, which is all good. I used to have a like driving iron in 18 degrees in something similar to this and it was a great weapon off the tee. Because I'm definitely, even though I've had hybrids in my bag for two years now, probably, I'm still like, oh, should I be iron or should I be hybrid? And I think if I can get something chunky like this, which isn't too scary to hit early course, on in my yeah. round and stuff, then I would definitely use it more. I definitely go hard five iron rather than what should be probably a hybrid at the moment. Yeah. I like shy away from it, but um, if this is something that can really... But that's what they're designed for, aren't they? It's yeah. To fit, fit that side of the bag. Still getting that feel of the forged feel. Yeah. And getting that performance that you want. Look at that. Lovely looking again, isn't it? Yeah, very nice. And I don't, I can slightly see the back of the club out, out of the back there when it's down at a dress, but nothing disastrous. Not much offset or anything, which is no, good. No, still very similar to the pros. Strike. That's a liner, isn't it? Ooh. Ah, it just faded. Good so how's that feeling for you at the moment? Is yeah, it? so that's good. Um, and yeah, the carry's been pretty steady there, isn't it? 207, 203, slightly weaker lofts to match in with my set. That'll bring it back down to what a five iron should be. Um, yeah, maybe we're there. Apex Pro and an X-Forged UT at the top Correct. of the bag for chunky <laughs> easiness. Maverick Pro Hybrid. Can you match me up something very similar? As similar as Like as you literally can? identical, Perfect. but just shiny. Perfect. <laughs> so obviously we've released a Rogue ST recently. Yeah. Um, very similar shape head actually to the Maverick Pro. Good. As you can see, yeah. we match them up. Oh yeah, you've just got like literally different shaped bits on the bottom. They're yeah. not circular, just they're slits instead. You but probably couldn't even tell if I mixed it up which yeah, one yeah. was uh, that which blue one shaft was which. makes it a giveaway. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's good though, that looks similar. So very and similar. There was an Apex one as well. That looks kind of like this, but a bit stretched back. Is yeah. that right? So um, if we just put that there for a second. Uh, we've got the Apex UW. Yeah. Uh, so it's a utility wood. So these are very popular at the moment. A lot of people are uh, fitting these in the bag instead of like a free wood or yep. a five wood. Yep. Um, the people that struggle to it with their fairway woods, they often often lead towards this. These actually go as lower lofted to as 17 degrees. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, so it's a very, very strong. Power one off the tee. So three on the floor here, definitely the Rogue looks similar to what I've got. The UT, did you call it? UW. UW, definitely a bit more stretched back 
teardroppy i would say i like my hybrid shininess on these two and then i look at the mat and i just think i like that one <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people do yeah like, it's so funny because in two years time when you go from matte to shiny i'll be like i like, I like the shiny, the shiny. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're, you always choose what you're not um Absolutely. what you haven't got at the moment so i i'm gonna try just hitting a few with the rogue st pro because i want to match up as i don't really have that much of a problem with my hybrids and if it works similar to what i've got already then that is absolutely fine with me and i prefer to look with the matte finish on the top 230 i think it should be this kind of club 234 oh pretty close wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so that, that extra speed oh that might have gone a bit further 238 233 it went shorter damn <laughs> but that's pretty consistent isn't it like yeah. i want this to go 230 like i said i don't know if it was on camera or off camera but like that is literally what my hybrid does and you're still getting that land angle you want still getting that height good spin rates as well it's like all good there isn't it i'm 100%. pretty happy i don't really need to go outside the box with this kind of club i don't think just I'm gonna like light swap with that and it's got a blue shaft so that's a winner as well <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> lastly driver now me and mark have filmed a fitting of me and we've come up with this and this is the best combo we played nine holes actually the other day and i had three out of four fairways look at that that's, that's mega for me good like percentage, is it? my percentage is normally about 10 so that's a winner winner but can we change the color of the shaft because that doesn't match that and it's time for a change oh, i've it? had it for like three four years anything in the rack yeah of course i think we could find something in here let's have um, a look what's in the rack this is like shaft void heaven this bit <laughs> people so, love shafts so what we've got recently we've got something called the hazardous black yeah um so we'll be looking at a 6.5 obviously for yourself yeah extra stiff very similar specs um it's actually one gram lighter would okay. you believe it so i doubt that will make much of a difference nah, is it handcrafted it is yeah oh. i'm not sure if you can see it oh yeah you've got the, the stickers under there i can see it that's good so not many people have touched it not you many are people. touching that but not, my one i don't get this out a lot if they, <laughs> it doesn't come out a lot i put it that way we got a neutral standard is that yeah right? yeah neutral standard nine degrees i think that head is so that should be all good long drive leaderboard up here look zane scotland three two one <laughs> That's massive. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you want to see me try and beat Zane? Because that is a bomb. Still don't understand why I'm not in these sorts of pictures. Like, is the Muppet Tour not recognised yet or what? Like, just pop me right in between there. So this is basically the same as my shaft currently, isn't it? But nice black stealthiness. It's funny not seeing a yellow beaming thing down there. Bit of a toe, like I normally do. Did I save it enough? Yes. It's good. Nice. How far is that? 303 total. 278 carry. Oh, I need out 17 yards, is it more? <laughs> yeah this is the like i'm pretty happy with this driver like if i'm just replacing color of shaft and not many people have touched it because it's handcrafted then i'm happy i'm just warming up now for the next video you see challenge time oh get out there come on draw right. back 307 Hey, Ooh, here coming. it comes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're happy with everything. Um, we're going to go Apex Pro Irons yep. from pitching wedge all the way up to a six iron. Then we're going UT Forge Utility. Forge yeah. Utilities with my five and four iron, but tweaking the loft so it matches all the set. Just uh, two weak. Yeah. And then a hybrid on top of that, which basically is a straight replacement, but the new Rogue ST Pro driver, new shaft haven't done the wedges no hang on so while you were out i had a little look in this bag and i'm going full toe i don't know if you know but i've got magic in my short game so <laughs> um mark knows all about it full toe in a 58 and does full toe come in 52 or no, it not doesn't okay but... so 
a normal 52. A no normal MD5 52. Yeah. Um, uh, we'll probably go one strong with that just to match up with the 45 degree pitching wedge. Okay, so uh, Apex Pro's got 45 degrees in the pitching wedge. If we go one strong with that, that's six degrees difference and then seven degrees to my 58. And that comes in a dark finish. It does. Whee! Yeah, there it's, uh, we it's go. All great. Two wedges and I need a chipper. So that completes my bag. Lovely. Right. Thank you very much for all your right. help.